What's going on everyone? This is JG with another episode of JG Reviews It and today we're taking a look at the new Trent Mobile Power Pack which is an iPhone and iPad external battery IMP1000. It's an 11,000 milliamp and uh, this power pack is a lot of power. 11,000 milliamps will get you through the week without having to charge this thing once. I was able to get several char small charges on the road with at least a week. Now, I haven't really tested this with full charges, so I don't really know the capabilities of it so much right there. Um, I have been using it, though, on and off, so I haven't really got a chance yet to take it to its full potential. But I'm telling you, this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, the reviews on Amazon.com were small enough to let me uh, go ahead and purchase it. So I'm going to show you what this thing looks like. I'm gonna, uh, I did already unbox it, so I'm just going to show you. This is what the box looks like when it comes in the mail if you order it through Amazon. This is not available in retail stores uh, like Best Buy or... Uh, certain electronic stores like Radio Shack or that I have I've not seen this in so and something that this powerful uh, is not going to be sold probably in that store because it's probably just going to sit on the shelf for a while. This is, was eighty dollars on Amazon, which is pretty high price for a mobile external battery. But then again, you could spend a lot of money on small battery chargers that don't work anyway and add up to that price. <laughs> it says it retails for over a hundred. I got it for eighty, so twenty dollars off. Not too bad. And I got and it and if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping on it. It is a Prime eligible item, which is cool too. So let's go ahead and open up this power pack and see what it looks like. Um, and as you can see, this is it. It comes in this. It's a. It's not really a black box. Um, it looks like it, but it's not. This is the back of it. It's actually, black and blue on the sides like this. The front. I didn't take off this plastic here, but it says New Trend. There is the. Um, the charger right there, or the uh, excuse me, the power right there. You have to turn that on. I'll turn it on right for you right here. And see those three lights. Three lights means it's fully charged. Two lights means it's half charged, and one light means it's only a quarter of the way charged. But that's how it light up. And it's auto shut off feature too. So if you don't, if you don't get to turn it off, it'll automatically shut off after a certain amount of time. There, it already did shut off. So there you go. If, it, if the device is not connected, it automatically shuts off within a few seconds, which is great. Great feature. It saves a lot of battery for you that way. Most of these chargers, you know, the more expensive ones like this will have the feature, but the cheaper ones I noticed have an on and off switch, which really annoys me. Uh, auto charge and auto off should be a top priority sometimes. You charge your uh, item right there. I don't have the charger with me right this second, but it's your standard, you know, everyday outlet. It comes in the box. Uh, what does it tell you? Say right there. Oh, that says DCN. Just trying to look it off the camera. There it is. And if you can see it, it says, yeah, DCN. On the back here, some warning information uh, what not to do. It just says here, if you can't read it, it says uh, 5 volts, 2 amps. Um, that's the input, and the output is 5 volts, 1 amp. You know, uh, Lithium ion, it's just a standard battery. It's, it's not that heavy. It looks huge and looks thick. It's not that heavy. Uh, I'm not sure the exact weight of it. I don't have, like, it didn't come with a lot of instructions with this. It just came with how to charge it and uh, some more basic, you know, user information, but that was it. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and see what else you get. You do get more stuff with it. So you get this really nice carrying bag that they give you. Which is this thing right here. This new trend carrying pouch. This is really, really nice. I like this pouch a lot. For a carrying pouch, this is really nice. I do enjoy this a lot. Um, I don't know where they... Uh, why don't companies give you more good stuff like this? This is excellent. So I really, really enjoy it. I really like this for carrying around. It protects the heck out of it, too. It's, um, you know, a drawstring bag, too, which is more protective than just a regular bag. But what does come with this is you do get this instruction guide right here. It'll tell you more about the details of how many milliamps and all that. If you're interested in those kind of details, warranty information just shows you how to use it. And it does come also with these USB cords, which I find useless because you can use any USB cord. Uh, it doesn't come with an iPod one and an iPad, yet it says it's an iPad charger. I mean, this is crazy because the ends of it, you need to use these stupid little things, um, which you plug into this part right here, and, you know, it acts as your charger. But, you know, every tip of the iPhone one is included. And on the front here, it says, iPhone, iPad, external battery. Now, I guess they figure you're going to use the white cord or you have your own cord, but that's false advertising right there. Um, without them telling you that doesn't come with it, which is kind of lame. So if you have an Android or a Blackberry, I suppose, this is good for you because you're going to get your tip. Or this kind of phone right here, which I don't know what this one would look like. It looks like the, uh, I don't know, looks like a, a kind of Blackberry phone it would be. Or an Android, I really shouldn't judge. But anyway, 
Um, yeah, so it doesn't even include the iPhone tip, which I'm really surprised. And it says it's for the iPhone. Uh, but nonetheless, it doesn't really bother me. I would like to get a free uh, tip, though, or a free, you know, USB thing. It's retractable, which is really nice. It's only nice if you have the actual phone tape, tip, excuse me, for this cable. So, kind of useless for me, but maybe not useless for everybody else. So, my overall review of this, on a scale 1 to 10, I give this about a 7, and here's why. Because it doesn't always charge the iPad. And if you know what I mean, sometimes when you charge the iPad in your computer, or take, at least put it in a computer, it says, it says it's plugged in, but it's not charging. It says not charging at the top of the battery. That's what you get with this thing. It says not charging for the iPad, but the iPhone, it always charges it. It's extremely bizarre. Um, but that doesn't deter me away from using this or taking it back because my iPhone is the main problem. The iPad, sometimes I do have a charging problem, but it's rare. I would much rather keep this for my iPhone. Um, it's not too heavy. Um, fits nice. It looks, you know... Pretty stylish. It could fit well in your pocket. I throw it in my laptop bag and take it to school with me, so it's no big deal there. I use it almost every day because my iPhone cannot hold a charge for more than four hours. And now with iOS 5 out, you probably want to pick up one of these. Even if you have an older iOS um, firmware, I definitely pick this up. It's on Amazon now. Uh, and if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping too, so it's not bad. Uh, it, it does what it says. I get, if I were to say uh, how many full charges you get, it says you would get. 8 to 11 charges, somewhere around that range scale, um, with just using it to fully charge. Now, I use it to really charge on and off, so I don't use it to fully charge my phone every night. I just use the wall outlet, so I get enough charges to go on and off for almost two weeks with this thing. So it's really, really good. It holds up well. But it tells you if you're not going to use this for a long period of time to keep it charged in the wall, and it's important so it doesn't lose its charge. So um, Overall, I'm really satisfied with this. Um, I give it a 7 out of 10 review. Uh, it, looks it looks pretty stylish. Uh, looks a little bulky, like I said, um, but what it isn't. It doesn't feel real cheap, which is nice. Some, some of these chargers would feel really cheap. This button right here, is, it's, it's a nice click button, and that does not, it doesn't feel cheap at all. This, oops, <laughs> almost fell on the floor. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, if you're looking for a good charger, definitely pick this up. Don't pick up those cheap ones you see in Best Buy or Radio Shack. They're going to waste your money, um, especially those Intercell ones, which is Radio Shack's brand. So, Thanks for watching, everyone, and this has been a review of the Nutrient IMP 1000, 11,000 milliamp mobile power pack.